Hi, my name is Mark Barnabas, your Data Protection Pal, and welcome to an eye on privacy where we share about data protection and cyber hygiene tips. And today I'm so inspired to do this video. Why? Because I got a letter in my mail and it comes from the Singapore Police Force. And this is the contents of the letter. It tells us about annual scams and cyber crime in Singapore, showing the top 10 scams and giving advice to residents about different type of scams that are there and asking people like you and I to be careful. Now, this is kind of alarming because uh, the government has resorted to this, uh, well, snail mail ancient way of delivering information to the public. This is, I think, this is where it is really severe. And so I did a bit of Googling and I found this article that was uh, published on the uh, news um, in February, uh, a month ago, that, you know, that there were $600 million lost to scams just in Singapore alone. Goodness gracious, $660 million. That could be a GDP of probably uh, smaller countries or, you know, uh, it's crazy. But the thing is that I find interesting is this. It says here $660 million, But you know, in this article, it says $1 billion. Hey, she's quite right. Uh, $1 billion in two years. Okay, fine. That makes, that makes some sense then. So... 660 million lost to scams just in one year, citing phishing, job scams, e-commerce scams, investment scams, and fake friend scams as top scams in Singapore. And the most alarming thing is that people falling for scams are not your auntie uncle. I said this in 2022 after the OCBC incident where many, many people fell for the phishing scam uh, that you know the younger young adults are the ones that are falling for these scams. I'm thinking it's probably because they're the ones that are using the internet more. So these are some of the top scams: um, e-commerce, job, investment, loans, as well as again opportunities to work and earn some money. So these are examples of scams and these are all taken from scamalert.sg. So please go read about what are some of the common scams that happen in, in the world, uh, in Singapore. But you know, I don't think this is limited just to Singapore. It is really applicable to uh, many parts of the world as well. And, and I think many people have shared that uh, there's one business or one vocation that doesn't stop and that is scamming. And last year, uh, it, was, it, it was even uncovered that some of these scams are actually run by syndicates who actually kidnap people to run these scams to cheat their own fellow men. This happened, uh, was uncovered in an article in Malaysia last year. So let me share a little bit more about what you can do to prevent these scams or at least uh, be a bit more vigilant. So one of the things you can do is to download this app uh, created by the Singapore government called Scam Shield. Now, Scam Shield is a app that uh, filters away possible scam numbers. Okay, I must I must say I am not a, I am not a reseller. Anyway, this is a free app, so I don't get paid for this. But this is a public service announcement. So Scam Shield filters away uh, possible scam numbers. And how does Scam Shield get hold of these numbers? Uh, it is from people like you and I who contribute possible scam numbers to this database. And when they, when, they, when the phone call comes to you or a message comes to you, whether it's SMS or WhatsApp, uh, this device, uh, this app will actually filter it and warn you that it's a possible scam. So this app was actually not uh, new. It's been around for a couple of years, but only uh, mid of last year was it available on Android. So I've been, I've been testing it for almost two years now. It, it's useful. Uh, in fact, before this, I used another app called Truecaller. You can check it out and Google it, Truecaller. It's not a Singapore app. It's, a, it's another app in Europe, but you can check it out. They, all, they function the same way. So another thing you can do is, of course, get, make yourself aware of what scams are there and uh, what's trending, what are Trump's trending scams. So you can hop down to scamalert.sg and some of the infographics that I took uh, in, the, in the previous slides were actually from here. So you can come back to this site uh, periodically to check out what are some common scams uh, that are happening. Because these are usually reported uh, by uh, people who were scammed and then they would share their story, their unfortunate stories here to prevent others from falling for the same scam, yeah? And, and, and what can you do to help others? You can report a phishing email 
at this very strange thing. I don't know why this link is uh, so strange. Uh, you can't really like click this link directly. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to uh, Google and type in report a phishing email and then you'll be directed to this form uh, that's managed by the Singapore government. So uh, if someone is listening in from the Singapore government, from SingCert, please do something about this form and make it more easily accessible to everybody so that we can all report phishing emails, yeah? Um, this is a request. Now, of course, if you if you got a scam, if you already got a scam, the best thing to do is to report to the police as well. Uh, so uh, you should report to the police and you can go to the website uh, eservices.police.gov.sg to report the scam just in case uh, someone uh, misuses your data for the wrong reasons, yeah? So it's very important. So this, are, this is a summary of some of the references I shared here. Scam Shield, the app to filter scam numbers, scam alert to read about recent scams, report phishing from this very strange website and that make a direct report to police on this particular website. I will put these links down below in the in the comments section. So my name is Mark Baramus. I hope you have learned something today and really uh, understand that scams are real and do not underestimate these scammers. They get better and better. And I, just a little short advertisement, I created this uh, game called Data Heist to educate the public, you and I, about what is cyber hygiene and data protection. So hope to be able to facilitate this in the city, in the, in, the, in the workshop or city near you. And you can connect me on social media. Otherwise, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to catch up with you soon. Take care and please be very, very safe. Not just for yourself, but also for the people around you. See you then. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.